Hi Capricorn, welcome to your busy guided message. All right, let's take a look. What's the message for you this week? Um, and re-energize the card, okay? Alright. There's an air sign woman who wants to get more money from you. And since that, it seems like you're not, it's like they cannot get any reaction from you. They're kind of a little bit disappointed. Because they're expecting you to whine or complain or say something, all right? And there are two fire sign couples that's been like, you know, like, um, probably like um surging the um you know surging more fuel to the fire and you know like they've been creating all these stories about you i'm not really sure what is the connection of this air sign towards you but it seems like there is either a business transaction between the two of you or there is something that you and this air sign are connected that is um that has something to do with um, money probably that this is like a landlord or a landlady or because you are the one who needs to pay up this woman probably it's also a service or consultancy and there's something about the service that they are not really doing their part or that they are not I don't know, something like a repair that needs to be done. So probably it's also like a house. And they're intentionally like either not doing it, delaying it, or not working on it because they're expecting you to whine or complain. And that's the time that they will be like, you know, getting the upper hand of the situation that if ever that you will be making a complaint. That's the time that they're going to be asking, okay, if you want to get it done, then you need to put down money. And these people are trying to take advantage of you. And since that they're not hearing anything from you, they're kind of a little bit disappointed because whatever it is that they've been planning all this time, it seems like it is not working out or it is not going to work out. So they're trying to change their plan towards you. But unfortunately, you don't have any plans of... I don't know, probably like getting it repaired, getting it done, especially, you know, let alone that it will be, you know, like you have to pay up extra, which is that it's supposed to be covered by the services. So this person is trying to gouge you for money, but, you know, like it's not going to happen. Now, there is this two fire sign couples, and for some reason, this is, a, I don't know, for some reason, this is like the reading of Libra. Okay, that there's this fire sign couples that's been spreading malicious gossips about you and they're intentionally like doing this because I feel like they're getting money from it or they're getting something from it. Okay, but this too hates you or they have an issue with you and they want you to have some problems with other people. Probably because you also rejected them. I'm seeing somebody being rejected here. Okay. Now you've been trying to carry on with the situation. And it seems like you're, you know, like you, you, you've you already reached up to the point that you don't want to talk anymore. You don't want to listen to whatever BS that they're going to be telling you. And you don't have any plans of fixing it. 
you are already preparing and planning to leave or go. Unfortunately, you've been having some issues getting that progress and getting that move because, you know, money is actually a bit of a problem right now. Now, you just wanted to move away from all of these people because you feel like you're being surrounded by a lot of demons, okay, or a lot of uh, diabolic people. So what I'm seeing here is that you've already learned your lesson. You also discovered somewhat that you have a curse or somebody put a curse on you that whoever you will be asking help from, whoever that you will be, I don't know, probably consulting or probably like trusting, those are the people that will be um, betraying you. Probably that there is somebody from the past who really wants to be needed by you. But the thing here is you're a very independent person and you, you're the type of a person that struggles to ask help and not the other way around. Now, whoever this person is, which is I'm also picking up another air sign, but it's younger than you. And this is somebody from the past, okay? This person wants to be like needed by you badly. So what they did is that and they put a curse on you by, you know, like whether it's a family member, it's a, like a known friend, it, either it's a friend for like, you know, like a long, long time ago. I don't know, people that you've known for like, it's like these people just cut you off and wants to cut you off from everyone that comes your way, especially when you needed help because you want them, sorry, they want you to want them to be there for you so that whenever that there's something that you need to get as a service, they're the one who'll be getting it for you in exchange of money. I mean, you're being surrounded by a lot of manipulative people and you've already reached out to the point that you don't know what to do anymore. Okay? So you are trying to, I don't know, could be discover some cure, discover some, you know, because there's always a way to break a to, to break a hex or to break a um, spell, all right? There's a, some of you might have been going through some stuff with your family members. You know, there's like a betrayal. Some of you have been casted out in the snow, all right? And some of you have been like... um. Some of you have been, uh, maybe had a, um, like a big argument with a family member or somebody that you're very close to. And these people are blindfolded, okay? These people are blindfolded. You felt betrayed. You felt alone, okay? This person, the, the root cause of all these evil deeds, wants you to feel that you're so alone. You're dealing with a dark narcissist, you know? It's actually hard when a narcissist and a witch are actually combined. Oh my God, it's, it's like you're fighting against Lucifer. Okay. Yeah, Six of Cups. This person wants you to always think about them and kind of rely on them, which is a very pathetic attempt for a Capricorn to depend on them. And this person is pretty much very unreliable. Even when the two of you are together, this person is very irresponsible. This person have caused you a lot of downfall, disappointments, humiliation, probably some scandals, a fight against other people. Your neighbors have always shut their, their windows and doors to you because of this person. And all you did was just like, you need to keep on working. You know, you're working and working and working. And this person is like, while you're working, they're slowly sneaking your things inside their bag and then leave. Okay? <coughs> Sorry. This person is very selfish. Because all they want is to just take and take and take and take. Okay? Now, expect that there will be some communications. 
okay? Um, probably that this person's supply is already running out. So they want to ask for more or they are waiting for more. And now they're stuck. Because they, they did not really expect that, that you're going to be carrying on with the situation on your own. And they did not really expect that, that you are going to be making it through. Okay? You even managed to cut them off. Which actually surprised them. So whatever it, it is that you've been having right now as a problem, there is only one person that is behind this. Okay? This person plays like they're the king or queen. And they do have a lot of accomplices. And... They don't have any problems, okay, uh, talking behind you, doing some smear campaign, flying monkeys, and something like that, gaslighting. Because this person is like, look, they don't really have that much. They actually needed you instead of uh, the other way around. But it's already over. It's done. There's nothing that this person can do. Whatever it is that they will be, that they will try to do, whatever it is that they will try again doing with you, it's done. It has been cut off by the universe. Okay, and this person couldn't really believe that, wow. So it's true then that Capricorn is protected. Okay. So some of you are finally like looking for a new house. Okay, but there's still another problem that you're currently facing. There is probably a third party situation in your relationship, or there is another water sign from the past that is trying to, you know, slid into the picture, waiting on the side, probably to take some chances. And this person is acting like a fool, you know, like a clown in front of their friends. And they're still hoping. I'm not sure if this person is waiting for you or waiting for your person right now. For those of you who's already in a relationship. And <sighs> Capricorn, what an adventure that you're having here. This just gets even more complicated. <laughs> All right, so there's this person... This is, not, this is not from your past. This is the person of your person. Okay. And this person wants to be a part of your picture. You know, like they want to be the third party so that they can divide the two of you. If you're already married. Okay. But whatever that is meant to be, is meant to be. And you cannot go against the universe. Otherwise... You are the one who's going to get cut off. Okay? You're into illegal tapping. This, uh, this, another, this other person, okay, whoever this is, this water sign, is trying to illegally tap into your fate, destiny, purpose, and energy. And because of this person's dark plans, you know, they're the one who will be casted out in the snow. They're the ones going to get cut off, okay? This vultures and this leeches are feeding from your energies. And it seems like now is the time for justice. Now is the time for balance, restoration. And now is the time for, you know, um, whatever that is yours will be restored and will be given back to you. And it will be rushed. It will be expressed, you know. Like a, it will be an express delivery. So your financial stability will soon be happening. And this is the worst nightmare of this fire sign. For you to have it again, for you to have it all, for you to have more, more than them. Because this is their dream. You know, for it to win in a competition with you. But you are ready. Okay, you're ready. You're ready to fight. You're ready for a war. You're ready to go against this person. See? You're ready to fight. Because you're a very strong person. You know, you see, some people think 
that just because that they're throwing, you know, like try to poke a Capricorn with stones and boulders and stuff, the more they get hurt, the more they get stronger. So you want to bring down a Capricorn? That's not definitely the way. Definitely. Okay? So, you will be healing. Okay? Now, let's go back to the first air sign that I've told you. The air sign, or the Gemini, or the Aries woman. Okay? Or person. The one that has something to do with the property. Now, this person will try to win at some point, but there will also be something that's going to be happening to them. Okay? Whatever it is that they are trying to do to you, it will also be done by somebody to them. And this is what they're going to realize that, oh my God, no, I'm not going to go there. Okay, this person is going to walk away and abandon the plan and abandon the ship. Now you, Capricorn, will remain the winner. Okay? You're the emperor, you got the knight of cups, and you got the judgment. You made the right sorry. You made the right decision all along. And you made the right choice. The devil, two of wands, and the queen of pentacles. Now the devil will finally have some second thoughts about going against you. Because they already know who you are. Okay? So just this. Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. There will be a final decision about this, and it seems like it will be in your favor. You're the one who's going to be coming out on top of this. Because you are innocent. You did not do anything wrong to these people, except that you gave them the fair justice, the fair treatment, and whatever that you're supposed to do, you did your part. But these people are the ones who have been trying to outsmart you, to um, take advantage of you. You know, like grab whatever it is that you have because you make it so easy. Some of you have this uh, pattern or some of you have this karma from the line of your family that whatever you have, other people always try to grab it from you. Whether it's a sibling, a family member, it's like it's so easy for you to have all of this material pursuits. And other people see like, what is it with Capricorn that makes it it's so easy for, for them to get the things that we've been that, that we that we, okay, other people have to work hard for how many years, but with Capricorn it's like, just one single, flip and then that's it. Okay. Because you have a heart of gold. You always help out other people. You, you, you never, you never, um, it's like, even if you're already struggling, even if it's your last bread, or even if it's your last food, or whatever, when there's somebody who will be asking you for help, or who, when there is someone who's also starving, you won't have any second thoughts of sharing it, even if it's, even if it's going to be the last of it. That is how nice you are. But other people keep on attacking you because they hate your guts. They hate you for being who you are. Okay? But you're not going against them. You're not opting for any revenge or something like that. The universe have your back. And this is what these vultures and leeches will finally realize that you Capricorn cannot be touched. Yes, you go through severe distress, disappointments, struggles, being casted out in the snow. But you always manage to pick yourself up where you've left off. You rest, but you never quit. Okay? So, let's see. Other people just can't see how strong you are. Because they belittle you. Because you're, you're shy, you're timid, you're quiet, you're reserved. You're, I, it's like, not really isolated, but you're very walled up and guarded. And other people feel like, oh, Capricorn is so timid. Capricorn is so shy. 
Capricorn's not going to say anything. So let's take advantage of Capricorn, okay? But this people doesn't even know how your mind works. Okay. Capricorns actually change in a in a in a snap. So <laughs> I can't say more of a shapeshifter, but it's more of no matter how much they love someone or no matter how much they are kind to somebody. But once you reach up that quota of taking advantage of Capricorn, and once they were like really written you off out of their life, you're dead to them. You're not going to hear any hurtful words. That's, all, that's actually the thing. You should be more thankful if Capricorn still says a lot of hurtful things, if they still give a damn about it, if they still berate you, or if they still nag you, okay? But once they give you the silent treatment, and once they started like not giving a shit about everything that you do, whatever it is that you do to them, and they just keep quiet, you're dead. Okay? Like, just like this. All right. And Capricorns are so good in cutting off people. Regardless if you are a family member, if you are like a loved one, a spouse, probably kids as well. It takes a lot for Capricorn to really get upset and to really do this. But if you push them, You'll definitely be sorry. Okay? Now, they're also saying that Capricorns are very unforgiving people. Actually, it's not. It takes a lot for Capricorn to not forgive someone. In fact, that they always... The reason why they always get betrayed is because they always look into the brighter side of the situation and always, you know, try to give people the benefit of the doubt and try to give them... You know, like a chance that, you know, like, look, that's not who you truly are. I know that there's a better person inside of that, um, inside of that facade, okay? And that kindness, other people always see that as a weakness for Capricorn. And actually, it's not. It's more of a strength, okay? So... So there will be a um, change of a situation. There's also forgiveness, restoration. There will also be a big success coming your way. Even though that you've been like black and blue all over, you will then be healing. People who have already betrayed you. This is the, you know, if they have some other plans left <laughs> to attack you, they're going to have some second thoughts about this. They're going to keep on working on for your forgiveness. Okay? Those people, and they're even going to get stuck. Because, you know, the thing here is once somebody lied to you, betrayed you, did something right behind you, you're not the type of a person that says a lot of hurtful words. But once you give them the silent treatment, you're done. Okay? And it also takes a lot for a Capricorn to, they have a very short temper and they get, uh, get mad easily. But they hate it when they say some really harsh words to other people. But once you provoke them and make them say the things that you really don't want to hear, whatever, you know, whatever that will be coming out from the mouth of Capricorn, it is going to cut you through, even to the deepest part of you so and there are also some other you know like wrong conceptions about Capricorns 
that even myself, you know, do experience this. There are some Capricorns that are in their dark night of the soul. Okay, that needs like really a lot of shadow work. When a Capricorn is being rude and being nasty or, you know, like all those unwanted behaviors... It means that they have gone through like severe hurt and probably, you know, like they have been casted out in the cold right after being so nice and, you know, like um, giving their all to their loved ones or probably to the one that they are with. And that is just how, you know, their heart is slowly being enveloped by, you know, like a dark shadow or like a dark thing. So, because I, I, I noticed that, you know, in some other readings, every time that there's a devil that comes out, they always brand it, oh, it's Capricorn. Actually, it's not. Anyway. So, you will then be pulling your, you know, you'll then be pulling yourself up from this. There is also like a new spirit guide or like a spirit ancestor that will be coming around you. You need to open up your senses because this spirit guide is the one that will be taking you back to your path. There was like a wrong decision probably five to six years back that you made and it took you away from your path. Now this ancestor or this spirit guide that will be sent out to you to, you know, take you back to where you should be, you have to follow them. But I feel like, you know, your, oh my God, your finances are going to be overflowing. Okay. Five of Wands, Three of Swords. There are some people that will still try to fight you and fight this faith of yours. But whatever that is meant to be will always meant to be. You contradict this or you stop this, you go against the universe. You're not going against the Capricorn. You're going against the universe. And it's like you're going against the big boss. Okay? So, it is time for, you know, whatever and whoever that gave you all of this struggles in the past, people who tried to drive you nuts, People who try to bring out the worst in you, you know, do the flying monkeys and smear campaigns, gaslight you, you know, your exes, especially there is some of you, you have a recent ex that's been like um, copying you or trying to be you or trying to, you know, like they're pretending to be you or they're stealing your personality, acting like you so that they can become somebody because that is how much they envy you, okay? You know, sometimes we're looking for love, but all we ended up is trouble. So be careful in trusting people, letting in to your lives, okay? Yep, I told you. Something about the past or somebody from the past. You need to cut off anything from the past. You need to forgive, you need to forget, cut the cords, move on, banish. And you need to purge. You need to cleanse. Because there's a big door that already awaits you. Big journey, long way ahead of you. A life that will be full of abundance, not just in material wealth, but also in happiness, in love, peace of mind. And you will also be um, meeting new people that will be true to you. Not because for what you have, but because for who you truly are. Okay? Because the problem with you is that you always have this so-called superficial friends around you. Okay? Because Capricorns, you don't have any problem starting all over again. It's so easy for you to you know, get back whatever you've lost. Okay. So let's take a look. You've already learned, you know, how the art of life works. 
and you feel like sometimes it's ugly sometimes it's not it's more of a major shape shifting and time is of the essence all right time is already ticking you don't have that much time some of you there's an important task or there's like a special mission that you need to fulfill soon and you're running out of time and house you will be moving there will be changes in your home place and you, there will be some relocation you need to relocate you need to move away or you need to not let anyone know where you're going to be going all right anyway have a great week and if you want to talk to me live in the phone live in the calls just go and visit me at my website at sophie.net blessings to you